Good day. We've got stuff we're not even allowed to sell, people. Only at Mick and Ruff. You look new to Freeside, so here's a little advice, friend. Don't go past the Southgate greeter without talking to it first. Those bots are programmed to vaporize anyone who enters the fenced-in area without authorization from the greeter. The name's Old Ben. I've been living in Freeside since the day I was born. I've done a bit of everything around here. Courier, butcher, crier, escort, gun for hire. Some of which I'm not proud of, but I do my best to help around town when needed. Exactly one of the reasons I got out of that job. Too many shifty characters looking to have someone else move their hot items. My father ran a butcher shop here in town, but business went downhill when another vendor started selling this strange meat at half our prices. You're telling me. Not long after my father's shop went under, and he passed away from the loss, people around town started experiencing shakes. No one gets shakes like that unless they're eating human flesh. But no one would believe me. The sick bastard gradually went insane and passed away. Wasn't long before someone moved into the guy's place and found half-buried human remains in the crawl space. I didn't bother saying, told you so. After a while, I made enough money to get a passport into Vegas. Back then, you could get approved for entry for a fraction of what it costs now. Well, I got a job working as a crier outside of the Tops, advertising for the local talent performing at the casino. That didn't last long. Well, being a suave young guy, I chatted up the ladies from time to time, and one of the manager's girls started to take a liking to me. I never touched the woman, but the jealous prick decided it was my time to go. He framed me by saying I'd stolen from the casino. Sure enough, a few grand was missing from the casino vault. I have to assume the bastard stole the funds and figured I was a convenient fall guy. Yeah, shit indeed happens. I was stripped of my casino apartment and all of my belongings and booted back into Freeside. From there, I didn't have a lot of career options, as my rep was destroyed. So the escort job sort of fell into my lap. No pun intended. Well, I suppose you could look at it that way, but I was packing a whole different kind of heat. No, escort just sounds better than man whore. Yep. I was damn good at my job, too. But after a while, I just felt like a piece of meat and had to quit. When I quit the escort job, I had enough money to buy a pistol belt and some other gear. Bodyguards make a good, honest living. And I had the wits and physical build to handle most thugs. After saving a few tourists from trouble, I got a reputation for being a stand-up guy again. And after a decade, managed to save up enough to retire. All right. Yep. Submit to a credit check, or present your passport before proceeding to the gate. Trespassers will be shot. Uh, thank you, madam. You may proceed.
That's it. Keep moving. Howdy, partner. You've come for a piece, haven't you? Welcome to New Vegas. The place to get started is Lofty 38. See that big old tower shaped like a roulette spinner? That's where you find Mr. House, New Vegas' head honcho. And he's itching to make your acquaintance. Well, now, it was Mr. House who made Securitrons like me. Seems the least I can do is pass on his message. Don't dawdle. He'll be waiting. Oh, the last five shots were a bad idea. I'm going to have words with your commanding officer after this. Why do they call him? It's hard to sleep in this place, I tell you. Last night, some girl was calling at my door. Finally, I had to let her out. What? Hey, hey, baby doll. Welcome to the Tops Hotel and Casino. I'm gonna have to ask you to hand over any weapons you might be carrying. Security, baby. Can't make the bread if the bakers are full of lead. You dig it? Don't worry, your safest house is in here. Courtesy of Mr. House. Smooth and easy, just the way I like it. Don't worry, they'll be as safe as kittens till you're ready to leave. Oh, and a friendly word of advice. If you happen to stumble across any weapons during your stay here, well, just don't wear them openly. You dig? Now that we got that little business out of the way, what can I do to make your tops experience the tops? Relax, baby. The safe is houses. We'll keep them locked up in the bank upstairs right next to the money. It's serious protection. Everything your little heart desires, that's what. You like gambling? Boom. Either one of the main hallways has cards, slots, you name it. Hungry? Thirsty? The restaurant just off the left-hand hallway has the best food and booze in Vegas. Or maybe you'd rather take in a show. The Aces Theater upstairs always has hot acts raring to go. Check it out. Have a good time, baby. What in the goddamn? Let's keep this in the groove, hey? Smooth moves, smooth. Hello. It was you set the cons free down in Boulder City? You did that? Oh, shit. I hit what I was aiming for. Guess you had brains to spare. Or you just thick-skulled. Either way, baby, this is good news. Maybe I can finally sleep at night, knowing you didn't die. What say you and me cash out? Go somewhere that's more private-like. Any questions you got, I'll answer. To start, I'll comp you the presidential. Best suite in the house. You deserve a taste of the VIP lifestyle. I'll hang out down here for a while to make everything look business as usual, then come to you. Any questions you got, I'll answer. Guaranteed. If that's what it takes to win your trust, that's what it takes. Follow me. Evening.
Now that you and me's got some privacy, I gotta ask, how is it that you're still living? House was on to me from word go? I thought I was being so clever. Once you were vertical, how'd you track me down? To think I deemed that flint box my lucky charm. Oh, the irony. I guess that's enough scratching around at first base. Tell me, which way is the wind gonna blow? You got questions, I got answers. It's the house edge, baby. Literally. It's what Mr. House needs to stack the odds in his favor. It's some kind of data storage device, Dig. So it's the data on the chip that's platinum, not the chip itself. Trouble is, the chip don't fit any computer, I've found. Must require special hardware. It has something to do with the Securitrons, I know that much. Upgrades their hitting power, gives them heft. Might be slightly useful if you're looking to defend the Strip from Caesar's Legion or the NCR. Or maybe both. How else can I clue you in? Yeah, it's a tricky world out there. I'll tell it to you straight. A good cat to swing with, or was, until he stopped mewing. It was House's big idea to resurrect the Strip. He recruited the three families as muscle, showed us how to set up casinos, negotiated with the NCR. None of this in person, mind you. Did all of his talking through those Securitrons of his. But lately, the silence is deafening. The robots collect House's share of the take every week, and life goes on. Ain't exactly what I'd call leadership. We're the definition of cool, baby. We know how to swing. Folks come to us to learn how to enjoy themselves. Of the three families, we're the only ones with the heart and savoir-faire to run the strip on our own. A tribe of finks. Every single one of them is a degenerate. Mark my words, they're playing an angle. How do I know? They always are. Personally, they give me the heebie-jeebies. There's such a thing as being too polite, if I may this, my pleasure that. Don't get me wrong, that resort of theirs is strictly ring-a-ding. But my guts say, don't go in the basement. A nation of meddlers trying to muscle in on our action. Well, we got muscles too, and smarts besides. Only reason the NCR hasn't busted up our scene is they're a little afraid of Mr. House and a lot afraid of Caesar. If the NCR beats the Legion at Hoover Dam, they'll turn on us and claim the Strip. And we don't have the muscle to beat them. Not yet. Meanwhile, they're all that's keeping Caesar's Legion at bay. Plus, NCR soldiers and citizens are our best customers. It's complicated. Worst of the worst. A tribe of degenerate losers led by a creep. They crucify people for kicks, slaughter whole towns. The NCR beat them at the dam three years ago, but that didn't stop them. They spent the meanwhile gathering strength. They're gonna try to take the dam again real soon. And if they do, Vegas as we know it will cease to exist. Something else you wanted to know? Broad strokes, change in management. The Securitrons are where it's at. I need a way to control them and a way to beef up their hitting power. I get those two ducks in a row, Vegas can defend itself versus all comers. NCR, Caesar's Legion, it won't matter. Baby, the odds may look long, but that's just because we ain't done rigging them. I won't toss the dice until we are. I've gleaned a lot working with Mr. House. He was a good cat to swing with. I still got a lot to learn, but it's, it's coming together. Baby, do you not understand the level of game here? What I did to you was rotten. 
But if you think House, the NCR, or Caesar won't kill to put Vegas in their pocket, I really did blow out your brains. There was a time I would have agreed with you, but this, it's too big. It affects too many people. I can't get hung up on those details. You help me, and before long, the chairman will rule all of Vegas, dig? With enough robot muscle to back it up. You'll get a sweet, juicy cut of that action. But until that day comes, I'll keep you on retainer and pay bonuses for special missions. How's that sound? I know, you figured me for a creep. It's your prerogative. If you change your mind, come find me on the casino floor. In the meantime, the presidential is yours whenever you want it. Adios. Did you know the strip's all stirred up lately?
to meet you. What can I do for you today? Good question. My function is to monitor Mr. House's data network and decode his encrypted transmissions. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm a PDQ-88B Securitron, but you can call me Yes Man. As I understand it, I used to be just like all those other Securitrons out on the strip. But then my neurocomputational matrix was completely reprogrammed to be nice. Very, very nice. Oh, he had some help. A lady friend of his. She said something about living in a fort over in Freeside. But that's all I remember. Sure. Benny had me look at it a bunch of times. It's a data storage device. Kind of like a holotape, but a lot more advanced. As for what's on it, well... Some of Mr. House's data transmissions made it sound like the chip could upgrade his defenses somehow. That's just a guess, though. The chip's a proprietary format. You need special hardware to read the data on it. There are two locations with non-standard hardware on the network. The Lucky 38 and an underground facility at Fortification Hill. I'd look there! Oh! He wanted to kill Mr. House and use the platinum chip to copy my neurocomputational matrix onto the Lucky 38's mainframe. That would give me control over all of Mr. House's defenses, most prominently his Securitrons. And then, I guess, I just do as I'm told. I was programmed to be helpful and answer any questions I was asked. I guess nobody bothered to restrict who I answer questions for. That was probably pretty dumb, huh? This is Benny's workshop. When the tops got renovated, he had this half of the floor blocked off for his own use. I guess you could say it's my entire world. I don't think I've ever left this room, but that's okay. I'm not complaining. Then I'd have to help you. I mean, it seems pretty obvious Benny wouldn't have wanted me to, but hey, not my fault I can't say no. Again, goal number one is to eliminate Mr. House and install my neurocomputational matrix on the Lucky 38's mainframe. Given how you're a new arrival, I also recommend that you get to know some of the region's tribes, so you can decide how you feel about them. By the time you finished up all of that, the Legion should be close to attacking Hoover Dam, and we'll execute the last phase of the plan. It makes me feel really dumb to admit this, but I don't actually know. I've never been inside the Lucky 38. No one has. Mr. House is in there, though. It's the central node of his entire network. Wow. Do you have any idea how special that is? Red carpet treatment? Seems a little mean to use his invitation against him like that, but I'm sure it's all for the best. I mean, Benny was always scheming about how he was going to get into the Lucky 38, but you already took care of that. Wow. The other thing you're going to need is the platinum chip. You know, the one Benny killed a courier for over near Good Springs. Of course you do. Sorry about that. And it's wonderful that you do. The platinum chip is the key to overriding and exploiting Mr. House's defenses. Did I just say exploiting? That's not a very nice word. Sorry if that was getting boring. Right. It's one of two locations on Mr. House's network with non-standard hardware. My guess is it has a reader that can decode the chip. And who knows what else? Maybe a giant robot or something. Neat. Let me know what you find out. I'll be waiting right here.
Don't you just love that platinum chip? Buzzes with power and possibilities, doesn't it? If I were you, I'd almost want to deliver the chip to Mr. House, just to learn all its tricks. That is, unless you want to bring the NCR or Caesar's Legion to power, I wouldn't want to tell you what to do. Oh no, I didn't mean that. Who needs their support? The Securitrons will be all the support you need. What I meant is, you should get to know these tribes and decide which ones you like and which you don't. You know, shape the future of Vegas. Choose your neighbors. If you like a tribe, leave it alone. Or, if a tribe is nasty or going to be a problem, go ahead and exterminate it. It's whatever you want to do. There's a bunch. Some of them you've already met, like the chairman, for instance. I think you should visit the other families on this strip, the Omertas and the White Glove Society, so you know what makes them tick. And there are some important groups farther from the strip, too, like the Boomers, the Great Khans, and the Brotherhood of Steel. Of course, ask away. They must be a really nasty people. I haven't heard a single good thing about them. They fire artillery on anyone who comes near their settlement at Nellis Air Force Base. Talk about rude. If they can be convinced to fire those big cannons at the Legion, or NCR though, well... That'd be neat, wouldn't it? If you're tired of... Please, go on. Anything? The cons are just... They're a dirty people. They live in tents like animals, and they're very rude. They've been kicked around a lot, but no one's finished them off. Not yet, anyway. They were one of the tribes the three families pushed out of Vegas. A whole bunch got killed. So they settled at Bitter Springs, but they kept being so obnoxious, the NCR had to kill a whole bunch more of them. So then, they settled at Red Rock Canyon. There's just no getting rid of them. You set the pace. Anything Hmm. I remember that Benny used to pay a receptionist at Gamora for information. Maybe she knows something. Just that Benny didn't like them. He talked on and on about how they couldn't be trusted. And this is coming from Benny. He hated their casino, said it was tacky. And he thought they were up to something, because he said they always are. Whenever you get around to it, we'll be just fine. Anything else I can help with? From what I understand, they're perfectly delightful. They're cultured, clean, and super polite. Benny didn't like them, though. He said they were creepy. Don't hurry on my account. I'm the one with a flexible schedule. Anything else I can help with? Some of Mr. House's dad has said that he'd lost a bunch of Securitron scouts near Hidden Valley. Telemetry showed that they'd been attacked with energy weapons. House was pretty sure it was the Brotherhood. There must be a bunch of them holed up there. Not a good place for a robot to visit. They go around in big suits of power armor, and they have lots of energy weapons. But there's a downside. They just have a thing about technology. They think it should all be theirs. If someone else has it, they get mad. All I'm saying is, not much of a chance they'll accept a Vegas that polices itself with robots. No rush. Take your time. Anything else I can help with? Hope to see you soon.
I dig this crazy slang. The eyes of the mighty Kaisar are upon you. He admires your accomplishments and bestows upon you the exceptional gift of his mark. Any crimes you may have perpetrated against the Legion are hereby forgiven. Kaisar will not extend this mercy a second time. My lord requires your presence at his camp at Fortification Hill. His mark will guarantee your safe conduct to our lands. Go to him and you will understand. Seek Kaisar by way of Cottonwood Cove, south of Nelson. The Kursor Lukulus will be waiting. Even. The doctor says, son, that's called your face. Ding dong. I bought my wife a little card here again. Well, howdy, partner. Good to see you again. Boss is waiting for you upstairs, so get a move on. I see you brought some friends. Sorry, partner, but they're gonna have to stay outside. Come back soon now. Hey, you there. I have a message for you. It's from Ambassador Crocker. Very important. Here you go. Where to, partner? Jane, one of Mr. House's girls. We keep him entertained. We don't get many guests lately. Perhaps we can entertain you as well. Not many people know this, but Mr. House is one of the world's biggest collectors of antique snow globes. If you happen to find any out in the wasteland, you can bring them to me, and I'll add them to his collection. You'll get a reward, of course. In fact, one of Mr. House's favorites went missing when we moved the collection. If you have a look around the Lucky 38, you might even find it. You do? Why, that's just wonderful. I'll take it and put it with the rest of the collection. Welcome to the Vegas Strip. You've been a busy courier, haven't you? You take your obligation to deliver a package very seriously, an ethic for which I am grateful. I will admit, when you ignored my invitation, I predicted negative outcomes. But you have a way of exceeding expectations, don't you? Well, enough. Let's have the chip, then. Such a small thing, isn't it? And yet so capacious, so very dear. Decades of hiring salvagers out west to search for this little relic in the ruins of a place called Sunnyvale, back then, anyway. That's where the chip was printed on October 22nd, 2077. It was to have been hand-delivered to me here at the Lucky 38 the next day. But the bombs fell first. Suffice it to say, the delivery was never made. Some things are more easily shown than told. Take the elevator all the way down to the bottom level, and you'll see what I mean. Don't worry, you'll like what you see. 
We have much to accomplish, you and I. educational, don't you think? I've since broadcast the upgrade to every Securatron in range of my transmitters, and I must say, it's causing quite a stir down on the Strip. To secure the future of New Vegas, I must have your assistance. The work ahead is dangerous, but you weather danger well. The next step will require you to infiltrate Caesar's camp at Fortification Hill. I want you to open a hatch in the basement of the derelict weather station atop Fortification Hill. You'll recognize it on sight. The hatch bears the logo of the Lucky 38, same as the Platinum chip. You can't, but the chip can. The hatch will recognize the Platinum chip and open sesame. Something very important. I wouldn't want to spoil the surprise, so don't bother asking. Here, take the Platinum chip again. You will need it. Upon arrival at the fort, it's likely that you'll be searched and the chip taken from you. Don't worry, it will come back to you.
Congratulations, partner. The boss has instructed me to comp you to the high roller suite. You can bring your friends, too. Be like a little clubhouse for the gang you put together. Just bear in mind, you're the only one gets to see the boss. Any friends you got, they can wait in the suite. Enjoy the digs, partner. They're plenty fancy. Casino floor. Excuse me, but are you the courier who caused all of that trouble in the tops? Oh, great. The followers of the apocalypse, well, some of us anyway, have been interested in Mr. House's technology, how he stays alive. Of course, no one else is allowed inside the Lucky 38, so no one knows what's going on. Well, except for you. Right. We just want to find out what sort of technology Mr. House has used to stay alive for all these years. It could be of great benefit to the people we try to help, many of whom suffer from hard-to-diagnose illnesses. Really? Oh, I wasn't expecting you to agree so easily. That's great. Here, take this packet sniffer. It'll allow us to intercept data on Mr. House's network. You might have to manually remove the encryption from his data network, but hopefully you won't have too much trouble. Good luck. Hey, have you been able to bug Mr. House's network yet? It looks like we've started getting reports from the tower's network. I'm sure the others will be able to make some sense of this. Oh, what the hell? The bug went offline. Damn it! I swear to God that old man has thought of everything. Well, it looks like this was all for nothing. But you did your best. I appreciate the help. I've got your back. Sure, later. Just lost a month's caps.
I'm glad you could make it. I have something I wanted to discuss with you. It's a very important matter, and I have a strong feeling you're the perfect person for the job. I'm sure you've noticed that things are a little tense around here with all the issues between the NCR, the Legion, and Mr. House. It doesn't take a genius to see that something big is going to happen soon. To be honest with you, the NCR is in a tight spot. But if we fail now, it's the people here that are going to suffer the most. I'm not willing to let that happen, and I don't think you're the kind of person that would either. To the northeast is a settlement. The locals here call them boomers. They are sitting on a munition stockpile that would be invaluable to us. I would like you to get in contact with them, and then do whatever it takes to convince them to help us. Unfortunately, the boomers keep to themselves and are, let's say, hostile to all outsiders. That's why I need someone like you. Someone with your background and reputation would have a better chance of reaching them than anyone I have available. In exchange for your help, you would receive complete amnesty for any past crimes against the NCR, as well as additional benefits and perks. Do you think you would be able to do this for me? Much appreciated. Once you've talked to them, come back and let me know if they will help us. I can provide a quick history lesson, if that's what you're looking for. In 2274, President Kimball sent the NCR Army into the Mojavean Force with the objective of occupying and repairing Hoover Dam. Rangers and Army scouts had confirmed that the dam was basically unoccupied and could be restored to an operable condition. Upon arriving at the dam, however, they discovered that a large force of tribals and robots had occupied it. This was our introduction to the three families, the Securitrons and, of course, Mr. House. Using his Securitrons as intermediaries, Mr. House called for parley. He claimed his forces had occupied Hoover Dam in order to safeguard it for our arrival and that he was ready to turn it over to us, so long as we could agree to terms. Those terms became the Treaty of New Vegas. The treaty recognized Mr. House's sovereignty over the Strip and granted us rights to establish military bases at the Dam and McCarran Airport. The NCR is legally permitted to send 95% of the electricity produced by the Dam to our home states. The remaining 5% goes to the Strip. The treaty actually makes it illegal for the NCR to prevent its citizens or troops on furlough from visiting the Strip. Once on the Strip, our citizens are subject to arrest or punishment by House of Securitrons, though that's a rare occurrence. Our troops enjoy a different status. It's illegal for the Securitrons to take action against them. Of course, it's also illegal for our troops to carry firearms on the Strip, so there isn't much trouble they can get into. Our military police does an adequate job of keeping the troops on furlough in line. I don't envy them that task. The embassy was established a few weeks after the treaty was signed. Basically, Mr. House handed us a dumpy little building he had no interest in renovating. I'm the third ambassador to hold this post, and the first, I think, to accept its limitations. My predecessors had ambitions of engineering the annexation of the Mojave. They thought they'd convince Mr. House to join up. I've never even spoken to the man, or whatever he is. Maybe the situation will change once we've beaten the Legion once and for all. Now we mostly just keep track of the NCR citizens and troopers around and make sure they don't get in trouble, but that's Captain Papa's job. I keep myself busy with paperwork and reports that get sent back to the NCR. It's mostly busy work, but every once in a while we make progress. Goodbye. Hey.
Thanks again for helping with Mr. House's data network. Come see me at the old Mormon Ford if you get a chance. Come to Mick and Ralph's for all your shopping needs. Come to Mick and Ralph's for all your shopping needs. Hello. Contact! Whoa there, pal. You better slow down, or you'll get blown up like the rest of the idiots who thought they'd scavenge in Boomer territory. Now that I've got your attention, might you be interested in a little information? It'll cost you, but it's well worth the investment.
Whoa, simmer down. I'll tell you, I'm a gambler and a scavenger. I've made some cash from gambling and some cash from reclaiming goods that are no longer being used. Now, do you want my help or not? Oh, lordy, lordy. You haven't heard of the boomers? What rock have you been living under? They're a bunch of artillery slinging, grenade lobbing odd jobs camping out in Nellis. Wander into their territory and you're as good as mincemeat. There is a way, and I'll tell you, for a little wager. Well, I know the secret to get past. If you give me the caps, I'll tell you. If you make it back alive, I'll double your money. Okay, here you go. That page has the details, but it's all in the timing as you move from building to building. I'll be here watching, so I'll know if you've made it to the gate or not. Remember, there's 600 caps in it if you make it. Hold it right there. Don't you move. How the hell did you survive that bombardment? But I had you zeroed in the whole time. Nobody's that fast. Move a muscle now and I'll blow you to pieces. Then just... just stay where you are. Raquel will be here any second. I'll take this from here. I'm Raquel, Master at Arms for the Nellis Homeland. Mother Pearl, our eldest, wishes to speak to you. Follow close, and mind your behavior. Welcome, child. Took your sweet time getting here, didn't you? I've been waiting a good five years for an outsider to come along and visit. Oh, so many ways. Small ones to begin with, so we can get used to what it's like to have a sev... Uh, outsider around and about. 
Should that go well, it may be you can help in big ways, too. We'll have to see. You have to keep in mind that you're our first contact with the outside world since I was barely a woman. Seclusion has kept us safe, but the world around us is changing. Neon lights in the distance, patrolling robots, soldiers. My youngers think our guns can keep out the world, but I think we need to let it in just a little or become its victim. You're that little bit of the world, child. Welcome to Nellis. You picked a good time to stop by, for we're swimming in problems. My youngers can tell you all about it. Raquel could use help with the bug problem. Doc Argyle has wounded he's tending to. And Loyal and Jack might be looking for help with some repairs. Or you could just go see Pete at the museum and hear the story of our people. All you have to do there is listen. Come and go as you like, help or don't help, I leave it up to you. But I hope you'll show my youngers that not every outsider needs to be blown up. Hey. <sighs> hey. I know Mother Pearl is letting you wander Nellis as you please, outsider, but I have patients to tend to. I have three patients here who were gravely injured fighting those giant ants in the generator building a few days ago. I've stabilized their wounds, but they're in bad shape. Do you have medical training? If what you say is true, you can do us a world of good. Fine doctoring. I could learn a thing or two from you. Excellent treatment. I hadn't thought of that. I thought that man was done for, but you brought him around. Yes, Outsider? Those men owe you their lives. Seems we could learn a thing or two from you savages, when it comes to medicine at least. Sorry, friend. We really don't have a need for wasteland currency around here. We produce most of what we need. You're the outsider. Mother Pearl sent word that you'd be stopping by. You must be eager to hear the story of our people. Wonderful. I'm sure you've noticed the mirror on the wall of this hut. Shall I tell you what it all means? Excellent. Imagine you're the first outsider to ever hear our tale. <clears throat>
years ago, long before I was born, we lived underground. Everyone had guns, but the Overseer wouldn't let us explode anything, not even a hand grenade. We left and wandered the wastes. They were savages with knives. We blew them up with frag mines and grenades, burned them with flamethrowers. It was neat, but there was a downside. For every 43.6 savages we killed, we lost one of our own. We needed a new home. We needed Nellis. Here we have prospered and multiplied. Here our mighty guns destroy any savages who might try to harm us before they can even reach our gates. Well, until... But... Not saying you want to harm us or you're a savage, but anyways. Nellis has revealed many secrets. It has taught us how to fly the bombers once based here, and it has taught us where to find one. And that is our story so far. For this last image is our future. To restore the bomber, to fly the open skies in armored safety, running high explosive ordnance upon ignorant savages. This is our destiny. I'm pleased that you listened to the entire story. Perhaps there are details you'd like to know more about. Let me know. Now that you know the story of our people, you must have all sorts of questions. Over at the workshop, Loyal and Jack are always building something. The Loyal may not be too happy to see your kind running around Nellis. See ya. Take care of that. I hope Pearl knows what she's doing, letting you wander around Nellis as you please. If that's so, how about you look into repairing the solar arrays on the roof of the generator building? Nothing too complicated about it, but it's a long ways to walk my old bones, and there's been that ant problem over near there. You can't miss the array. It's on top of the generator building smack dab in the middle of Nellis between the two runways. Hey, that's great. You shouldn't have much trouble getting those fixed up then. Just stop back when you're done. All right, what's on your mind? Bye. A robot problem for you. Just... So you're the outsider. Lived your whole life out there, huh? Wow. I always thought you savages probably spoke a different language. But I hear you sound like us. What I could use is some scrap metal. It may not sound exciting, but around here we have to recycle every rivet and plate. The other thing, you being from the outside and all, well, I guess you'd call it a personal matter, but, well, uh, forget it. That must be nice, sharing yourself like that, not being embarrassed or anything. Well, the thing is, there's this girl. Oh, you can't miss her. She has short red hair, and she's the most beautiful woman who ever lived. You'd really talk to her for me? What if she feels the same way? What if she comes here like you did? What if she gets blown up? What if she doesn't like me? Oh, jeez. Uh, I better just let you handle it. I'm better with machines. They don't make my stomach queasy like this. That would be amazing. As in, I would thank you forever.
Mother Pearl's instructions are clear. You can move freely around Nellis, and artillery spotters have orders not to fire on you. These are extraordinary privileges. Don't abuse them. Long story short, the power failed a few days ago because giant ants have tunneled into the generator room and set up a nest. I led a team down to exterminate them, but there were so many of them. We lost. Two killed, three wounded. Personally, I think it's more than a savage can handle. But if you want to kill those ants and switch the power back on, feel free. Sure, anyone can. But there's more than a few down there. See for yourself. But one other thing. The ants must be eating gunpowder from the munitions down there. Or something. They exploded when hit by a flamethrower. One of us was using a laser pistol. Same thing. Bullets seem okay. Just don't hit the artillery shells. Loyal's been working on some kind of weapon to use against them. Maybe you should check with him.
I knew you'd be the death of me. Can't run from me! You're mine! Can't run from me! Eat this!
all mine. Contact. Eat this. Eat this. I, could... I see the power's back on. The ants are all dead? Maybe Pearl is right about you. Because I don't know how you pulled that off. I'll tell Loyal to send someone down to clear out the eggs and repair the generators. Good work. Hello. 
Hello, outsider. Need something? An impressive piece of work. I'll keep that in mind if jobs come up in the future. Bye. You have done well to earn the trust of my people, child. I believe the time has come for you to show your value in full. The people have come to accept having you around. Find Loyal and ask him about our people's fondest dream. He will tell you what to do next. Pearl sent word saying it's all right to tell you about the lady in the water. A long time ago, long before the war that killed just about everything that ever lived, a bomber crashed not far from here. A bomber was a flying contraption that could drop explosives down on anything it flew over. But anyway, moving on. This bomber crashed down in Lake Mead, pretty damn near intact. When we got to Nellis, see, I found this article in a magazine all about it. There was another B-29 around here, part of a museum. Couldn't fly, but had a lot of spare parts, see? Get where I'm going? Since I was a young man, I've dreamed of raising that lady from the lake and bringing her back to life. What do you say? Simple. Attach deployable ballast to the plane and float it on up. Here is a remote detonator. Once the ballast is attached to the plane, just hit the detonator from the shore and let buoyancy handle the rest. Maybe you don't understand. Hasn't been one of us, not a one, to set a foot outside Nellis in over 50 years. You come along with your knowledge of the outside, and it seems the time's come to raise the lady after all. Good. Here's the deployable ballast. Go find the plane, attach the ballast, and hit the button. Might try holding your breath. If that doesn't sound good enough, talk to Jack. He was working on a rebreather once. Have you seen her? The redhead of my dreams? Oh, well, let me know when you do. I just need some parts from a pressure cooker to create a hermetic seal for the rebreather. That's a brilliant idea. I can put that together right now. Here you go. A new rebreather. Like I said, I can never get enough scrap metal.
I still can't believe how you ran through that artillery barrage. Jumping Jesus on a pogo stick. You're the first one to make it through alive, let alone manage a return trip. Yep, here are your caps. You drive a hard bargain. Here you go. Have a nice day.
from me. Can't run from me. Can't run from me. You're mine.
Take him out. Eat this. Can't run from me.
from me. Can't run from me.
figures. All mine. Can't run from me. Eat this! Contact!
Contact! Can't run from me! Can't run from me. I've been sending requests for relief for months now. Didn't think they'd send you, though. This is the Bitter Springs refugee camp. We've been maintaining it for a few years now, ever since Caesar's Legion started seriously pushing west. Most of the people here were displaced by the Legion's advance. At first, there weren't many. But lately, it's been more than we can handle. This whole area used to be a Great Khan encampment before they relocated to Red Rock Canyon. We just haven't had the manpower to clean it all up yet. It's a distress call. This camp is in bad shape, and if we don't get relief soon, I don't know what will happen. At this point, I'll take anything you can give me. We need more troops, fresh supplies, and medical relief. As if that wasn't enough, someone's been coming out of the mountains at night, stealing supplies and picking off my people. I don't know. The NCR's stretched thin as it is. Put in requests at Camp Golf, Forlorn Hope, McCarran, but things are no better there. Maybe if their situations improved, they'd have men to spare. Or maybe they'd listen to someone with a reputation for helping the NCR. Food, blankets, clothes, tools. The Army used to ship out caches of supplies regularly. But with the Legion so active, we haven't gotten any in months. You'll want to talk to Lieutenant Markland about that. He's our medical officer. He should be down at the medical tent now. 
It started about six months ago. At first it was just supplies going missing. We figured it was refugees. Then people started dying. Always a single bullet to the head. Always from extreme range. We've lost eight refugees and three soldiers to this son of a bitch. We know he must be hiding out in one of the caves up in the mountains. But I don't have enough men to send out looking for him. Okay. Good luck. Wow, hey, it's you. What are you doing in Bitter Springs? Hey, if you can help, I'll take whatever I can get. Doctor's bags would be a huge help, but what I really need are medical texts. I'm not trained to deal with major psychological trauma, and we've got a lot of kids in this camp. Caravan companies are probably your best bet. Smaller traders aren't likely to have anything that esoteric. Thank you. Any help you can give would be a godsend. Thank you. This will keep us well stocked for a good long while. Stay safe out there. Contact!
contact. Can't run from me. Take them out. You're mine.
contact. Great Khan looks like. Guess he fought at Bitter Springs. Or saw it happen. You look at the You're back. Any progress on saving our skins? We do have some spare radex in the supply tent. That might work. Thank you. Where did you get this? You know what? It doesn't even matter. It doesn't completely solve our problems, but it goes a long way. You did? Who was it? Any information you could give me would be a big help for my reports. Really? Well, this canyon used to be a great Khan stronghold. I suppose that explains why he was able to evade us so easily. About three years ago, NCR's first recon launched an attack on the Khan encampment here. There was a communication mix-up that resulted in some non-combatants being killed. I guess he was still bitter about it. It was a tragic mistake, but we've done all we can to make amends. We provided medical aid to the wounded, all the wounded, and permitted the cons to resettle at Red Rock Canyon. I'm glad it's taken care of, but still, I wish it could have been resolved without violence. There's too much bad blood there already. At this point, I'll take anything you can give me. We need more troops.
It's going to be a dream come true once you've raised that bomber from Lake Mead. That's tremendous. I'll transmit instructions to the robots to start packing up the plane to bring it back to Nellis. I just told you, the robots are going to handle it. They'll break the plane down into pieces and move it up from Colville Bay in one shot. Exactly. We'll be shelling an unoccupied location in Outer Vegas to get their attention elsewhere. By the time they realize they aren't under attack, the plane and the bots will be long gone. The kids wish we were shelling a real target, but Pearl thinks it's wise not to start up a war just as the lady has risen. Hey, I'd better get rolling. Jack and I have a lot of work ahead of us. Hello, friend. How can Mother Pearl be of help today? What you have done for us is a miracle, child. You have fulfilled the only dreams we ever had outside our walls. You are a trusted friend of us all. If there is ever a way for us to help you, child, tell me, and I will make it so. Of course, my child. After all that you have done for us, we would love to help you in the upcoming battle. After all the training and virtual reality, the young ones would relish an opportunity to put their skills to battle. We'll be there when you need us. It's hard to sleep in this place, I tell you. Last night, some girl was pounding on my door all night. Hello. Hey. I heard you killed Benny over at the tops. I bet you think you're some sort of tough cookie. 
A piece of advice. If you mess with any of my men, you'll regret it. Not much to tell. Keeping the troopers in line and monitoring the strip keeps me busy. It's my job, and I'm going to do it well. Now, if that's all, I've got work to do. Evening. It's good to have a friend of the NCR here. What can I do for you? I hope you've returned with good news. Are they willing to help the NCR? That's great. They're going to give us an advantage in the battle ahead. In any event, I have another assignment ready and waiting for you. But we can speak of it later. Rest up, and when you're ready, speak to me again. It's good to have a friend of the NCR here. What can I do for you? So I did. As you may have noticed, our position here in New Vegas is tenuous. We've made great strides, sure, but the NCR is not welcome here, merely tolerated. And even then, not by everyone. We've had reports of violence against NCR citizens in a neighborhood just to the northeast called Freeside. Ever been there? I'm inclined to agree, but it's a slum with NCR citizens in it. And as such, it falls under my jurisdiction. Violence is something of a way of life there, but there's been a disturbing rise in the number of attacks on our people lately. More worrying is the fact that our sources suggest the violence is being perpetrated by the gang that runs the place, the Kings. I need someone to look into this that won't attract attention. Would you be interested? Good. Our men have come up with two different plans for seeing an end to the violence. First, our sources have tracked most of the attacks back to a king named Pacer. The consensus is that the violence will stop if he's removed. The problem is we can't simply kill him. In the current climate, the NCR would likely be blamed for his death. There is an alternative option, but my sources feel that getting rid of this Pacer fellow is our best shot. Make it look like an accident, or pin the deed on someone else. Look into this guy's affairs and I'm sure you'll find something you can use. I'm not a violent man myself, so I had our guys come up with an alternate solution on the off chance that our agent-to-be shared my sentiments. In that case, we could take a different tact, but one that I at least have more experience with, diplomacy. If we can't go after the man responsible, we'll simply appeal to the man above him. The Kings, including our friend Pacer, report to the leader of their gang, a man who calls himself the King. He's Caucasian, in his mid-30s, and extremely charismatic. It's that last part we're counting on. The Kings are a bunch of young hoodlums who aren't inclined to listen to anyone except him. Get him on your side, and the rest will fall in line. Go and talk to the King. Try to convince him to put an end to this violence. Pacer's a punk, but he won't likely disobey a direct order. The King might not be open to the idea at first, so you may have to integrate yourself with him. Do whatever it takes. When it's done, one way or the other, report back here, and we'll take it from there. I wish you luck. If you run into some difficulty and think you'd rather just take the shot with Pacer, that's fine too. Evening. Run from me! Take him out.
You're no friend to the Great Khans. You should turn around and leave. And if we see you in the Mojave, well, accidents happen. Morning. I'm getting real tired of talking. Yeah. You're not one of my regulars. What do you want? We keep the Great Khans from falling apart, essentially. Jack manufactures the chems. I organize the runners and the shipments. We're supplying things people want in exchange for things our tribe needs. Don't judge us. We make regular shipments to a lot of settlements around the Mojave. A lot of our business comes from the fiends lately. Personally, I think they're kind of creepy, but Papa likes the fact they get all hopped up on Psycho and harass the NCR patrols. I don't have any compelling reason to trust you, given your behavior. So no, I'm not really inclined to give you a job. Helpful? What, like bathtub stim packs? What's the point of that? That's touching, but it would take away from our bottom line. I'll have to pass. I'm all for live and let live, you know, but a lot of folks around here, uh, aren't. Diane handles most of the transactional elements of this little enterprise, but I'm always in the market for new recipes if you've got the spark. Right on. What have you got? Right on. Let's have it.
Grudalicious. That ought to rake in the caps. What do I owe you? Right on, right on. You're a pretty hip kitten. Right on. Let's have it. Grudalicious. That ought to rake in the caps. What do I owe you? Right on, right on. You're a pretty hip kitten. Right on. Let's have it. Grudalicious. That ought to rake in the caps. What do I owe you? Right on, right on. You're a pretty hip kitten. What do you mean, helpful? My stuff already makes people feel grudalicious. Do? We don't like do anything. We make the magic happen. We make the happy stuff. What do you need? Jet, psycho, a little med -X to ease the pain? Guess I just had a natural talent for it. When I was a kid, these cats called the followers of the apocalypse came to our camp. They knew all kinds of kooky, scientastical stuff, so I ate up all the chemistry they could teach. Diane had the head for business, so we teamed up. Whatever. Oh, you're buying. Tell you what, since you've been acting all, well, random lately, how about a discount? Might calm you down. Hey, what's up? Hmm, you look like you could handle yourself in a fix. All right, I'll tell you what. Anders, one of my best runners, is overdue to report back. If you can find out what happened to him, I'll give you some real work. About three weeks ago, I sent Anders southeast to find a route into Arizona to open new markets for our product. He should have been back two days ago, but there's been no sign of him. Thanks. Prove you're liable on this, and I'll have more for you later. You're mine. Can't run from me.
Contact! Eat this!
can't run from me. 